Over the last couple months, I've been watching the graphics card market. I've been helping people build their computers, plan out their computers, etc. And I really have a good in-depth kind of view of what's going on in the graphics card market to kind of give an accurate you know, representation and explain what's going on in this video. So I think we'll get into it. So first off, I want to talk about graphics cards in the past, which you probably already know if you're watching this video. I'll give a quick summary. Basically, prices over last June were pretty good, and then all of a sudden, with cryptocurrency kind of exploding and within reason, we had a huge price surge, and prices kind of went up to what we saw in around December, and then in the beginning of next year, well, this year, oh my gosh, it's, it's 2018. So in the beginning of this year, we had a huge price surge even farther. We had graphics cards like a t um, 1060 up in the thousands. So that's what happened. Now prices are starting to go back down to what we saw in December. And you know, the question keeps popping up on all my you know, social media and stuff. You know, is it a good time to buy? Because obviously prices are down. And I'm going to give you an in-depth explanation of, you know, exactly explaining, you know, what's different, um, not just giving you a plain, simple answer, you know, one fits all, but really explaining, you know, depending on what you're trying to get, it differentiates. It's not really one particular thing for everybody. And, you know, I'm going to hopefully explain that. So first off, I want to take today's start, start this kind of discussion, I guess, by saying that graphics cards, are, of course, are not indefinite, and there will always be a new, better model. And that also brings us to kind of the first point, is that GPU prices are kind of also dependent on, you know, being the current model. So this 1080i is the best and greatest right now, but think about it at the end of this year or so, when the prices of the 1080i go down, when we get the new 1180 or 2080 graphics cards coming out-ish, 11 and 20 series, whatever they decide to call it. When those new cards come out, prices are just going to fall even more. But now, before you go, well, should I wait that long? The question, it really does depend on the kind of person and what you're kind of looking for. If you're going for 4K gaming, then you probably should wait on these new cards because if you wait, you'll be able to either get the prices of a 1080 Ti much lower than you would because of you know the newest model coming out, or you can even get the newest model, it turns out it's a better gaming card for 4K, etc. Now, chances are if you're watching this video though, you probably are not concerned with 4K, because usually if you're you know not really particularly caring about spending a good bit on a nice shiny new graphics card, you really wouldn't mind the high prices as much. So, let's talk about the lower graphics card prices. So depending on what you're really, really feeling, I feel like right now the graphics cards are in a good spot. Yes, prices may fluctuate 50 or so bucks. We may even get something that goes down farther. I just say keep an eye out. But to be honest with you, it really does depend. Right now we're in a lull, and I feel like if cryptocurrency picks back up, it'll be with overnight, and we won't even really know it. And then, you know, there goes all the prices of graphics cards through the roof. So I mean... I personally, if I was someone that was looking for a mid-range graphics card, I would go out and buy a card now. That is 100% what I would do. I'd buy it as soon as I could, just because of these gra these cryptocurrency prices. And to be honest with you, prices will probably stay down for a bit. I would say within three months or so, we probably have about a three-month period. Don't take my word for that, because that's just a guess. You know, there's always fluctuations and stuff. And to be honest, I feel like it could be three months, or it could be tomorrow. And, you know, this video becomes irrelevant. So, you know, looking at it from the standpoint of right now, it's December, last December prices, and, you know, I'd love to see them go back down to last June prices, but with cryptocurrency, you know, becoming much more, I don't know how, out in the open, it's not really, a lot more people know about it, it's not really going to go away as much. I feel like the craze is kind of subsided, people got really excited about cryptocurrency, which they, you know, had this nice big picture in their head that they're going to make a lot of money, which in reality some people did, and some people really kind of lucked or didn't luck out. And so if you look at it from the bigger picture, it just I feel like the craze is kind of gone for now. And I'm sure there will always be something to reunite it, but I think cryptocurrency in general is slowly starting to de decline. And also let's take Nvidia's word for it. They they produced the t G or GeForce series. I'm sorry, I'm losing it. And basically they have already came out and said that they're not planning to get a whole bunch of cryptocurrency miners. Um, you know, a lot of crypto miners on their cards in the future. They're kind of saying that it's kind of over with. They think it's done and in the past, which actually, and the reason why I say that's most likely 100% true is that 
they lost a lot of their stock value by saying this. That's what happened. They, people are like, oh, they're not going to make as much money. And they've even said that regardless. I mean, I think if that's even more proof that they think, even if even if they think it, that must mean that it's pretty dang close to accurate. I mean, there's always room for error, but I think even if the person that's making the graphics card says that, and they're kind of ramping down production, which could lead to bad situations if they do go up, because then there's less, in the suppl less supply, but just keep that in mind is that we've kind of got that out there now. And I mean, AMD is also producing, I believe it's the combat crate i believe it's called and it's basically like you know you know graphics card combos which will help even more with the graphics card prices so to be honest with you now's a good time to buy buy if you have the money and if you don't i guess get working but um i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did of course give it a thumbs up thank you very much for watching check out my channel for other cool tech related things I've also got a bunch of information about what, like the release dates for the t t 1180s, 2080s, whatever you like to call them, and the release dates for the new cards and such. So um, a little bit more information about those as well. So I hope you all enjoyed. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And of course, thank you for watching.